Religion is a topic that's heavily debated, and there's many reasons that someone would want to believe in religion. For many, it gives them a sense of comfort, helps them to relax knowing that there's a higher power, and for some, reassurance in knowing that there's an afterlife and that they'll be reunited with their loved ones. One image recently went viral. It showed Sister Cecilia with a radiant smile, and at first many were confused as to why the pictures went viral, but unfortunately Sister Cecilia was in her final days. She was in a losing battle against cancer. She passed away on the 22nd of June, at age 43. Many readers were surprised to hear the story, and noted how strong she looked in her final moments. It was even said that Pope Francis was moved by the images, and said that he had prayed for her, in which he said he knew all the good things she had done during her life, and that she was very much loved. Sister Cecilia Maria spent a large portion of her life at a monastery in Argentina, where she dedicated herself to God. Those she spent time around her stated she was always happy and in a good mood, going on to say that she played the violin and was known for a beautiful smile. Last January was when she was diagnosed with cancer of the tongue. Sadly, it quickly made its way to her lungs. Those who were close to her though said that she remained strong throughout the whole ordeal, with family members saying that they spent a lot of time with her and showered her with love. Family members would travel to the hospital, and when it was time to leave they would head out into the garden and send her messages via helium balloons. A source close to her said the following, Those who saw her spoke of her face as showing peace and joy, as someone awaiting the encounter with the one to whom she'd given her life, our Lord Jesus Christ. End quote. Towards the end of her life, Sister Cecilia was unable to speak due to her condition, but she wrote these words on a piece of paper. I am very content, astonished by the work of God through suffering, and by so many people who pray for me. End quote. Her last words were the following. I was thinking about how I'd like my funeral to be. First some intense prayers and then a great celebration for everyone. Don't forget to pray, but don't forget to celebrate either. End quote. Many people commented on how strong she was, and that even though she had what she had, she was still able to find a way to smile. In recent years, many interesting religious events have allegedly been witnessed by the masses, with eyewitnesses saying that some of these events had been the real deal. When people experience these apparitions, they seem to defy logic and reasoning. It reaffirms their belief that this comes from something that is real. For hundreds of years, mysterious events have been witnessed by humans, many of these involving mysterious objects in the sky and strange apparitions appearing before us. Although it's easy for some to say these aren't real, sometimes when applying logic, all this does is show us more questions than answers. For those who do experience these once-in-a-lifetime events, it has in many cases changed their lives, helping them to believe that there's more to life than what we make out. One of the most interesting events reported comes from a remote area of northwestern Japan. Here, a small convent sits in the town of Akita. While small in size, this place has become very well known, with pilgrims coming from all over the world to pay their respects. It began with a three-foot-tall statue of the Virgin Mary, called Our Lady of Akita, and a deaf and nun named Sister Sasagawa. One day in 1973, Sister Sasagawa was praying in the chapel when she heard the statue calling out to her. She looked up and the statue illuminated the room with a bright light, and angel was in attendance. Messages of prophecy and prayer from the statue followed, but that was only the beginning of the supernatural episodes to come. Soon after the statue of the Virgin Mary had called out to Sister Sasagawa, wounds of the crucifixion started to appear in the statue's hands. Liquid began to seep from these marks, and the statue then appeared to perspire, together with tears falling from her eyes. A sister who was witness to this supernatural event said the following, 
it seemed to be truly cut into flesh. The edge of the cross had the aspect of human flesh, and one even saw the grain of the skin like a fingerprint. I said to myself at that moment that the wound was real. End quote. The statue went on to weep over a hundred times. Interestingly, this incredible event was not just witnessed by inhabitants of the convent, but over 10 million people when it was broadcast on national TV. Scientific evidence also supported what was being seen, with lab tests performed on the samples of blood, sweat and tears that came from the statue. It was concluded that they were not synthetic, and indeed of organic and human origin. Further miracles were soon to come. In South Korea, a woman named Teresa Chun Sun Hu had been diagnosed with a brain tumour and given a grave prognosis. She went into a coma, but at the same time saw a vision of this statue. Coming out of the coma, Teresa travelled to Japan to pay homage and pray in the same chapel. At the same time, her friends and relatives also began to pray for healing in the name of Our Lady of Akita. On Teresa's return, her doctors were shocked. The tumour had gone and she was completely healed. This medical miracle would not be the last of Our Lady of Akita. The next was fittingly related to this sister who came across this incredible statue in the first place. Sister Sasagawa. Born prematurely and in poor health for most of her life, her hearing had pretty much deteriorated by the time she entered the convent. She would go on to be verified as being incurably deaf by medical experts. However, after years of praying to this statue, her ears were opened, and it was confirmed that her hearing was completely restored. Incredibly, she too had been healed, and the miraculous nature of Our Lady of Akita affirmed. So what do you make of these stories? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.